dawn on a hillside in eastern Myanmar in late January. The forest crackles with the sound of gunfire. Three years on, Myanmar's military has less control than the day it launched the coup. Right now, that it is already <laughs> military doesn't control you know most of the country, at least 75 percent of the country, especially the border areas. But their presence is still felt. In Kaya State, ethnic Kareni forces have surrounded government troops in their bases, but unchallenged air power and artillery has stopped them from being overrun. Rebel fighters and civilians are suffering a high number of casualties. In Shan State, where the offensive began in late October, alliances and coordination between the ethnic armies. Myanmar's army has lost control of vital trade routes and border crossings with China. And the more the rebels fight, the more they learn. Our battlefield experiences have made us into different soldiers. We are learning from fighting and fighting while learning. We know more about their forces and also we have better communication between our own soldiers. While many of the official border posts remain closed or controlled, weapons, supplies and personnel move freely through unchecked jungle crossings. There are still parts of Myanmar's border which are heavily fenced off like this. But in the last 12 months, in Thailand, China, India and Bangladesh, strategic border positions have fallen to ethnic armies who can now come and go as they please. But General Min Ong Lai, who led the coup, has shown no indication he might change direction, despite signs of concern within the ruling elite. Kun Sai Jaiyen has been dealing with Myanmar's military leadership for decades on behalf of one of the largest ethnic armies. He's the kind of captain that when the, six, when the ship sinks, he will sink and then take all the passengers with him. That's what they say. I'm, I, I hope it's not true. On the western coast, the military is under attack in the strategically important port of Sitwe. Rakhine State has been under martial law since the violence against the Rohingya Muslim minority in 2016. But even those harsh controls have failed to hold back the resistance. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, on the Thai Myanmar border. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.